this rad response is going to be set up a little different than usual. Usually, I have a triggered idiot that comes to the comment section, and I give them a rad response. Well, I have to go over one of my comments before the actual comment I'm responding to. I say, I'm clearly correct unless you point me to a different end result of DSP Gaming and Gaming Historian receiving money from their audience. Because you obviously have to deny that DSP is an e-beggar, which you will not do because you would sound silly doing so. It's a very simple concept. I can't explain it in simpler terms. And the Gaming Historian can't hold my goddamn jockstrap when it comes to substance and devotion to this platform. He's just another lazy, unemployed e-beggar. My talent goes far beyond a hack like Norm. Give me a month of work and I'll create something better than anything he has. The comment I'm actually responding to is a reply to that comment from Onion Minutes. Hack. Yeah, okay. Your inflexibility isn't an argument. Your current definition of e-begging does not jibe. Although I am intrigued. Put your money where your mouth is. The clock starts now. You have 30 days to come up with something better than the hack. Just know I'm rooting for you. Because, as I said earlier, your observations of the MGR crew were enlightening. <coughs> Admit that DSP Gaming is not an e-beggar, since he accepts thousands a month just like Norm, or I will have no further dialogue with you about this topic. I call this the DSP rule. If DSP is universally seen as the biggest e-beggar in the gaming side of YouTube because he accepts a lot of money each month from his audience, why do others with Patreons who gladly accept thousands monthly like Norm get a free pass? If Phil put on some glasses and started doing monthly short-form documentaries to relaxing music instead of multiple gameplay videos snorting like a wild boar, would he get this free pass? If the end result is exactly the same, money through charity donations online, how exactly are these two people different in regards to their e-beggary? They both gladly accept handouts all the time, Whereas people like myself with actual pride and an actual work ethic do not. And whenever I see Norm bring the fire in a critical satire video is when I will start releasing radical historian videos. Why should the challenge be set to me and not him? He's the one with no job, unlimited free time, barely gets in his own comment section to interact with his audience, and is being supported with Patreon welfare to buy whatever recording equipment and things he uses for his uploads while I actually work for a living and refuse audience welfare. And you know, I actually am a historian of sorts. The only difference is that I document instances of e-begging, lies, hypocrisy, and scams from YouTubers for the benefit of the YouTube platform as a whole. Norm tells you about Game Boy fishing items you may have never heard of, and I tell you about e-beggery you may have never heard of. The only difference is, I don't pretend it takes a month to upload a fucking video. Now here's a challenge for you. Go comment on his page, and let's see if he ever replies to ya, or can turn his replies into entertaining uploads like this. And here's another challenge. Go fuck yourself! Perhaps you can use a light gun zapper smothered in Dean's Ranch Dip and listen to a calming gaming historian upload. I hope this response didn't make you cry too much there, Onion. I think I just peeled a few layers off your weak-ass argument. <laughs>